For all of you who find chimps adorable and friendly, I'm about to completely tear apart your perception of them. This just might be the coolest tale that came from the horrifying world of animals. It all starts in Gombe National Park in Tanzania. Now pay attention to this bit, it's important to understanding chimp geopolitics. There were three communities, the Kasakela, Kakombe and Makenke. Makenke isn't so important, so forget about them. Now these communities were very territorial. You eat your bananas, I eat my bananas, the usual chimp stuff. So now comes the part that is very controversial amongst chimps. Inside of the Kasekela community, a separatist movement forms led by brothers Hugh and Charlie. Their followers are Godi, De, Goliath and a young guy named Sniff. Now look, I don't want to take sides or anything, but this was kind of a dick move. They form a new community called Kahama. The chimp Isis basically. The Kasakala guys, Sherry, Everett, Rodolf, Yomeo, Fagin, Humphrey, Satan and the Alpha, Mike. Honestly, Satan should be the Alpha, I'm just saying. The poor fucks over at Kahama were clearly outnumbered. And so, on January the 7th, 1974, first blood is drawn. Kasakela guys are fucking mad, so six of them ambush Gaudi while he was feeding on a tree. They straight up murder him. This was the first time a deliberate murder of chimps by chimps was recorded. So then the boys start pulling out some chimp victory celebration, throwing sticks, default dancing on Gaudi's corpse, screaming whatnot. After Gaudi fell, the Kasakela boys go on a killing spree. They kill De, Hugh and the elderly Goliath. Goliath was relatively friendly with the Kasakelans. He basically sucked their dicks. Apparently, he didn't suck enough chimp dick. So they wasted the guy. Another very controversial event in the conflict. So now Charlie, Sniff and Willy Wally, who suffered from polio, were scared shitless. Their separatist plans of making Greater Kahama have failed miserably. Charlie was killed next. Willy Wally fucking disappears and is never seen again. How the fuck could a chimp with polio escape an active battlefield is an unsolved mystery plaguing scientists to this day. Sniff is now the last man standing. He somehow managed to survive for a year. He planned on going low and escaping to another community. In other words, going into exile. But the Kasakelan KGB tracked him down and broke his neck. The Kasakelas still weren't done. You see, the Kahama females were still there. The boys kill one female, two went missing, and three were beaten then kidnapped. Probably kept as sex slaves, who knows. And so, the Kasakelas take over the Kahama territory, forever removing the separatists from chimp history. But shit wasn't over yet. The Kasakela territory was now rubbing dicks with another chimp community called Kalande. The Kalande guys were stronger and had more troops, probably had bigger dicks. They had few violent skirmishes, but ultimately the Kasakelans had to give up much of their newly claimed territory. Kasakelas were later also harassed by some other community, but no one got killed. And so it ends. The Great Gombe Chimp War. The Kasakelas have moved on and established a solid democracy but there are still separatist tensions in the country. I made that up, but it sounds cool. The scientist that followed all of this was so disturbed. She thought chimps were nicer than humans, but it turns out they're just as bad. They will also kill each other senselessly, for reasons which are ultimately complete bullshit. Moral of the story, death to Kahama separatists come. ...the area of her intelligence and gather up the rest of these supplies. Be prepared to move out in two hours. Dismissed.